Hi guys, so today I'm gonna do uh, another drawing uh, tutorial. You can uh, learn from this. So first of all, um, don't forget to subscribe uh, and um, yeah, comment, like, everything. Uh, I have the links below of uh, my Facebook and uh, everything uh, and uh, pencil if you want to get them and everything. So uh, this drawing I'm gonna do uh, M&M. Um, it's pretty much a, a living legend at this point in rap and hip hop. So I uh, found this picture here and uh, yeah, uh, I really like it, uh, really simple, uh, some shadows, uh, but yeah, just a good picture and yeah, that I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna talk during this video just to show you some what I'm doing, um, I mean my, uh, my strategy and everything, so uh, yeah, let's go. So first I wanted to start with the darker uh, place in the drawing, the shadows, so uh, the really dark shadows. Like I talk in my video up here in the card, in my episode 1 I talk about this. So uh, I started with this, uh, like you see me doing, and uh, then I wanted to do the shadows, like not only the black shadows, but also the shadows around the eyes, which are like uh, dark skin, skin tone. But I wanted first to know what is the skin tone of the, this picture. So I wanted to see from this picture here, this area, around this area, what, what is this color approximately. And me, I'm so used to you. Uh, I use so often uh, seashell pink for a light uh, tone, light skin tone. But I tried it. Yeah, I think you will see me try it at first. But then I realized it's not really that color. It's more like a light peach. So then after I will apply a uh, light peach everywhere. So yeah, so that's the color. And for the shadows around the eyes, uh, I noticed that it was, uh, it was uh, mostly 70% French gray and mixed with the uh, clay rose. Yeah, so those two colors mixed together create approximately the shadows around the eyes. So I use these a lot, 70% French gray and clay rose. I use them uh, in a lot of places. And I mix also uh, dark, uh, dark gray with them also for darker places. So around the eyes, I use uh, espresso mostly. It's uh, like a dark uh, brown. And uh, on the iris, I use uh, light, light blue. Uh, it's called uh, light cereal, cerulean blue. I don't know, <laughs> but any light blue will, will do. And then I, I cover it with the. Uh, 70% warm gray and 90% warm gray to make it not as uh, blue and for the skin tone and the nose and the cheeks uh, like I said I use a light peach everywhere and after that I covered it a little bit with 10% uh, warm gray and after that I used the uh, 70% French gray on some darker places to cover it I use a clay rose also especially on the nose uh, clay rose because it's a little bit pink so the nose has a little bit uh, pink on it and for the shadows on the nose uh, I use 70% uh, French grey and I use the different shades of uh, warm grey like 50% warm grey, 70% warm grey, 90% warm grey Just uh, it's important to have different uh, shades of grey because it's, you always need different kind of uh, greys uh, on most drawings for the lips it was pretty easy uh, just clay rose applied it and some 70% gray or 90% gray on top to create some shadows and the bottom lip was a uh, mix it uh, clear rose with a little bit of uh, I think I used peach a little bit on top of it and the beard was uh, just before applying the beard I covered the whole face with the uh, light peach and then I applied the uh, first I thought I applied espresso for the mustache first but it was too brown a little bit so I just continued with the uh, 70% warm gray everywhere on the beard. I mix it a little bit espresso in it, but mostly 70% uh, warm gray. Uh, and I left, I left some gaps for the skin to show uh, in the beard. Uh, this was pretty easy to do, this the beard. Yeah, for the neck it's the same, um, just a light peach and some uh, different grays on top. Um, yeah, so it's not really hard to do. Uh, I mean, it looks hard. Maybe it looks hard if you're if you're a beginner, if you're starting. But uh, you know, it's not that hard. Just try it. 
And also there's another thing I want to talk about uh, for uh, making your, your drawing look more realistic. There's one trick that I use a lot. I mean, everybody uses it. It's like you have to blend a lot. Because when I start uh, applying colors, I apply at first the base color. Okay, I use a single pencil. Okay, I use like espresso or I use light peach or I use black. I just apply it. Okay, I just apply the first color, the base color, the closest that I think to the original. But then I always have to add something else on top because it's never gonna be that. Really rarely it's gonna be exactly right with just one pencil. So you have to add a lot of pencils on top, a lot of other colors. But it just depends what you see. Sometimes you don't have to add too many, but just enough it's gonna make your drawing much more realistic looking. Just adding some some shades of gray or some shades of the same color for example if i have light peach i can apply peach on it or i can apply clay rose i can apply other colors that are like pink because light, light peach is a, like a light pink but I, I can apply other kind of pink on top like a little bit darker pink a little bit like earth pink like a, you know like or gray or i can add any kind of color on top to mix it blend it not just to blend it but to create more depth in the color it's not just a single color single color that you apply so that's a trick that uh, that you can use uh, it's really gonna make a big change in your drawings uh, and the colors that you apply on top it depends on the photo that you have you just have to see the photo what 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 that color looks like is it more uh, a little bit red in it or a little bit uh, or yellow in it a little bit so remember that when you're doing doing your drawings that if you just applied one color and you're done I mean think about it what what other color can you add on top to make it more uh, realistic to make it more like the real photo
and here I have an example of uh, what I was talking about about uh, adding colors on top of uh, base color now I'm adding uh, henna color on top of uh, all the other colors I applied before because I saw that clay rose wasn't uh, like pink enough so I used henna and for me it really made a difference with henna because uh, when I apply it on top uh, it makes it uh, more pink the colors appear more pink because henna is a darker pink so it helped me a lot uh, in the shadows and around the nose so this is just an example to show that sometime, at some point sometime you're like what, the, what other color can I use to improve it a little bit so then you look around you search do some tests and then you realize okay I can use this one so henna really made me uh, you see I apply it everywhere the nose uh, because it, I saw in the picture it was more pink around the nose and in these places. This is just an example.